Y'all ready for another story? Really? Sorry, my niece is in here. No, you didn't want to be up here when we were making videos. We all ready for another story? Because I got a story to tell. Is that my intro? I think so. Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl for 10 and I'm back with another video, another story time. I'm back. Yes, I am. I'm here. Are you ready for me? Um, so this is something really embarrassing that happened to me in high school. And kind of regret I don't regret it because it taught me a very valuable lesson to not be stupid ever, 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 ever again. And little younger for 10 I'm sorry <laughs> and mommy you were there and I'm still sorry and yeah okay let's get into it so when I was in high school as I said in previous story times I spoke to one person one okay one one person um during high school and this was the same guy for most of my stories which you'll figure it out if i haven't said it already i'm saying it now if you hear a buzzing sound it's the heater it's freezing in my room but yeah um he so backtrack i don't even remember i think this was grade 10. I think it was grade 10 because I used to carry a messenger bag that my cousin bought me for Christmas or some stupid. Ass. He bought me a laptop messenger bag when I got my first laptop. I knew. This was back in the day when you didn't need laptops at school. I just wanted to use it and then I used it for a whole year and then I was like, okay, this is stupid. I'm going back to a backpack because I don't do the purse thing. If you know me in school now, if you knew me in school back then I don't do the the ratchet girls with the purse over their wrist I don't I don't have that type of time but it was one of those days so back then me and my sister we used to stay up really really late right this is a good angle because my hair looks trash right now anyway so block it out as much as you can um, we used to stay up really really late don't ask me why we were haunted children so back then in high school me and my sister used to stay up mad mad late don't know why don't know how come we just did we were weird children and at this time she knew about this person she was all here for the tea she was all in it for the tea she was all in it for the tea so back then she used to help me bring him into the house when my mom was asleep. So if you don't know anything about my mother, I'll teach you this on your own. My mother does not like guys. She doesn't like guys. Okay, my mom does not like guys. She don't care if y'all just friends, y'all could be family, she don't care. She don't like y'all. Sorry, sorry not sorry. So whomever plans to marry me, I apologize because you're going to have to jump through some hoops. I'm sorry. But, um, she doesn't like guys. And she feels like guys are all in everything for one thing. So, you can just go to her and sit down and have a conversation and say, you know what, mom? I like this guy or I'm talking to this guy. No. Nah, she choke you. She would choke you to death. So, so for me to see this person outside of school, I would literally have to like have my sister help me get him into my house when my mother went to bed. Right? Cool? Cool. I don't even think my sister knows about this story. Ooh. Well, damn. But um, yeah, you would literally, like I couldn't leave the house to just go out. I couldn't just get up and say yeah we're gonna go see each other bye mom i'll be back no that's not how it worked in my house it didn't work that way in this house 
so you had to find alternative means so please lord don't make me mom watch this video but um with with that being said my sister and me we used to like fun ass our way around things and by 11 o'clock my mom went to bed at like 9 10 by 10 30 11 o'clock he was in and we'd sit and we'd all sit in the couch watch tv crack jokes eat chill and then by like two o'clock he's gone we're in bed cool this was routine for a while <laughs> a long while <laughs> a very very long while um this, this was routine for a very long while and we made it work and it was good it was decent and then one day I tried to take out my little enough self my little enough self I took out my little enough self and said you know what I'm gonna do this by myself she's gone to bed so I'm gonna finesse my way without her help so I took up my little enough self and tried to finesse this without the help of my sister. Here's the thing. My sister was a good decoy because if something fell, we could just say, yo, she got it. Or if something happened, she would say, yeah, 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 it was me still. Like one night we almost got caught because she heard the door. She's like, oh, I heard the door. Who went through the door? And I said, Oh, she heard something outside, so I just looked outside for her real quick. Does it? When my mom's in her sleep, you can finesse anything out of her. She doesn't know what she's saying in her sleep. So, easy ins and outs. One day, my sister went to bed early. This nigga was like, I'm going to a party in your area when it's done. I'm coming through. So I said, okay, I don't know how this is going to work because... I don't know how to do this without the help of my sister. And we all know that that night, he was saying he was under a look of vibes and he was coming over to get one thing, which he did not get. So he's out here like talking about what he's gonna do, what's gonna happen, whatever, whatever, because it was supposed to happen prior to this. And I was just like, no. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not here for it. It's not gonna work out because I'm not ready for that. Thanks, but no thanks, bye. So, me being a little idiot, I agreed to this second coming all by myself. And this nigga came in. It was like three o'clock in the morning, or almost three o'clock in the morning. He came by, finessed his little way in and sat on my floor in my room and literally started talking and nothing I think we said maybe like four or five sentences before my room door flew open it just went whoosh, swung right open And was it not Mama Moo, Bonnet, and Nighty and all just standing there? Hello? Like, th that's all she said. Hello? And unfortunately, she wasn't in her full, full sleep, so I couldn't finesse my way out of this one. And he was like, oh, shit. And I was like, oh, damn. And the only thing, my mom has this thing when she sees dudes at the house that even it could be outside the front door. It could be downstairs, outside, we live in an apartment. It could be outside. She doesn't say anything. She just looks. And when she looks, you know you're kind of okay because it's just her face. But when she hits you with a hello, with the attitude, that's how we know you're going to be shot. She hit us with a hello. Sleep still in her eyes, all groggy and gross looking and everything. 
it was it was just like if the walls talk they'd be screaming my whole inside my insides I was literally outside my body watching it happen from behind her because I was like I don't know how you gonna get out of this one mind you we weren't even in close proximity this nigga was sitting beside the door on the floor and I was sitting on my bed in t-shirt and track pants head tie no form of sexual anything could be going on there was no interaction nothing so at this point he was just like nice to meet you got up and she's like you can go now and he walked through the front door and left and went home he went home which left me and my mama and my soul that already is in my body and is standing behind her just watching this all play out in my room yes it was just the three of us the three her me and my soul out of my body yes the three of us and at this point the anger kicked in the angry jamaican korean lady kicked in and she started to lose her shit excuse my language she lost all forms of ish all of the forms well the forms and was like what the f what was he doing here i don't know how i can lie so quickly and so well but i got up remember i said i used to carry a messenger bag it was hanging on my closet door i looked at it and i said oh he just brought me a piece of paper that i needed for school I don't know why he'd be bringing it at 3 a.m., but he brought it. He said he was in the area, so he'll just put it in his bucket and bring it. And it's something that I need for a project. She's like, I don't believe that for the life of me. And was like, are you dumb, Fatan? Why would you do that? Just went off, like, yelling, screaming. I can't yell and scream right now because it's, it's late and there's people in my house and they'll think I'm all crazy and dying. But she was yelling and screaming and losing it. Legit was like, there's no way that, basically said, there's no way that this person could be bringing you anything at these hours of night. Anyway, so I, having the smart idea to prove it, jumped out of my bed and said, look, it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. Digging through my bag. What I forgot is that I cleaned out everything out of my bag and I left it in my locker at school. So there was nothing in my bag. Nothing. Nothing. Every school piece of paper, every binder, everything was in my bag. It was in my locker. They were all in my locker at school. So now I'm scrambling, digging through the bag, digging through the bag. And she's like, so where is it since you're proving it? Basically, was like, show it to me. Since you're gonna prove it to me, show it. Like, it shouldn't take you that hard to find something that you just put in your bag just a while ago. I pulled out the most random folded piece of paper. I didn't know what it was. I'm like, see, it's right here, it's right here. One, one piece of paper that I had in one pocket I don't know how long it's been in there. I don't even remember what it was. I pulled it out and I said it's this. And it was, it was, at one point she was just like, pretend you disappointed me and she walked out, closed the door and left and I was like, well damn, I'm gonna die. I can't go to sleep cause she's gonna choke the living daylights out of me in my sleep. She's gonna come back in here and just strangle me to death. And I'm just never gonna be seen ever again like ever again like a never for never ever again never like at all no no but honestly the next day she just didn't talk to me anytime you see my mom doesn't talk to you she's mad and then you're supposed to feel guilty about it because you know you're disappointed i think he texted me the next day like are you alive like are you okay I'm like, yeah, I lived. She's not talking to me. It was a weekend. It was a Friday night. 
it was a Friday night because I had driving lessons the next day and I had to leave the house and my parents have this one rule don't leave the house without telling everybody that you're walking through the door so I'm there like all right bye mommy I'm leaving she said nothing I'm like okay then so why am I talking to you got mad and walked out and I slammed the door and I walked back in from the hour of driving lesson no this was grade 11 this was grade 11 because if I had driving lessons it was in grade 11 yeah mm. nope it was grade 11 I walked back in and we basically got into it wasn't like an argument on top of it she just basically said like you can't be doing that stuff you don't know what could have happened whatever whatever just not like that just in the Jamaican way just in a very Jamaican way and then here we are I did die I did not die I'm alive I know I'm talking to him so I'm guessing she was right about that I don't care um and my mom still doesn't like guys so guys that was the end of my story I hope you enjoyed it remember to like share comment and subscribe more videos coming very very soon I'm trying to keep on top of the, the uploads with school I'm trying to make sure that at least every Sunday Monday ish there's a video posted so this will be up by time it's like 8 o'clock no it's not 8 o'clock yet so this should be up very very soon um or a video for today should be and it might be this one um but I'm trying to make sure that I got y'all on the videos. Mon Sunday slash Mondays. I got you. Got you. Those are my days for uploads now. Keep me on a schedule. If I don't do it, cuss me. Tell me something about myself. Tell me you're disappointed like my mama was in me. Yes. So I'll see y'all in another video. Zeus's. Trap on. Oh,